Hey you guys, so it's my big girl. Look at this juicy jumbo twist, yes. Um, The last day of my blowout, y'all. Uh, excuse me, last day wearing my hair blown out. That's a lot, tomorrow's gonna be the last day because I'm gonna meet my friends for lunch, like I said, but this is very shiny, looking good. I haven't had a need to moisturize after using that heavy ass Allocane Naturals. Girl, that stuff is heavy. That Shea Yogurt, I would definitely be using that as a moisturizer anyway. This is flat twist. I'm not doing a video on this because I've done so many videos on flat twists. But um, it's Monday morning. This fan asked me two weeks ago, no, 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 last week. He said, where can I go to get some sunglasses? And I'm looking I'm like, you can go to any normal department store? He said, yeah, because after this cataract surgery, I won't even need regular glasses. I'm like, well, if sunglasses will help you to not hit my damn car, I will go buy you seven pairs of sunglasses at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> no, I told him he could go to any, if he's looking for nice designer glasses, go to any department store. Hell, I said go to Ross, go to Ross, go to Macy's, you know, go to JCPenney, girl, they're, they're going out of business. Um, so yes, he's having his second cataract surgery. Uh, Mon no, no, Wednesday. So my hair is itchy, y'all, because it's been now, I'm in nine days. And using that Allocane Naturals product, I think it made it even worse because that product is heavy. Yeah, I was thinking about using it today. It's been about two days. I've been th I was thinking about using it today as a moisturizer. I'm not going to at all, only because my hair is, is dirty. Um, but what I did two days ago is I used some witch hazel just on my scalp and it cleared it up. It cleared it up about 75% of it up. I'm gonna use a little bit more today when I reset my hair. I know I'm gonna set them a little bit smaller. Anyway, y'all know where I'm at, so I'm about to do a little venting. Uh, look, I know I said I want only um, video on the weekend. Did I say that? I don't know. My goal is to try to try to tape film mostly on the weekend unless something happens like today. So today was to be my day to go into one of our um, office locations here to provide support for one of our trainings. Um, our office is about almost an hour away from me. And so <clears throat> the company that purchased us office is literally 15 minutes from me. And so this is where we're having one of our trainings. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. One of our trainings this morning. So I already told the trainer that, hey, I'm going to be coming down just yesterday. I told him that, hey, I'm going to be coming down there around 9-ish. I actually ended up getting there at 8.30. So I go in and you have to have a badge to uh, get into the building, which I didn't have. But I did have my badge from my current badge, okay? So, because I just don't have access to this building, but I do have access to our building. So, anyway, I get down to this building, sign my name in, following protocol, and just waiting for the security officer to come in to buzz me in upstairs so I can go to this training again and to provide support for the trainer. So a couple of minutes later, I didn't have to wait wait long and she came around the corner, apologized for me waiting. I was like, oh no, it's okay. And so she's like, well, what are you here for? I said, I actually work for this company. Um, I let her know what sub company I work for, basically the company that they acquired and that I'm here for so-and-so training. She's like, okay, well, who's your point of con contact? And I looked at her, I'm like, uh, I'm the point of contact. I don't know what you mean. This is our training that we're facilitating for this client. And she's like, well, it, you, you have to have a contact. I'm like, what? So I was confused. I'm like, but I work here. And she's like, yeah, I understand. But if you um, don't have a point of contact, you need, at least need to have the name of a supervisor or someone who can escort you up to the room. I'm like, okay, let me email the trainer. So I emailed the trainer and I knew, I knew that he wouldn't be able <clears throat> to come down and get me. He's in the middle of training. A few minutes passed by and y'all, I'm like, I I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm going to leave. So I say, you know what? He's not going to respond to me until his break. And that's going to be a couple of hours away from now. I was only going to be here, you know, just to provide support. So I went home around nine o'clock. I just turned around and, and went home. She apologized and said she was sorry, but you know, she's just doing her job, like I said. So I went home. Literally, the trainer didn't even email me to 11 o'clock. He apologized and said he for totally forgot, even though I just emailed him the night before. Um, 
Today has been a bit of an emotional taxing day for me. I had some footage earlier that, sorry, that's the footage, here we go. I had some footage air, earlier of me on here. I was crying and all, was slobbering and shit, but I, I had to delete it, delete it because I want you guys to not feel depressed or sad when you see my videos. I want my videos to ultimately make you feel better, but this is real life, okay? It's my life and what's going on and the emotions that I, that I am experiencing, I want to share it with you guys. So why I was crying was because it's over my child, over my baby, JB. So um, it seems like every other day when I have picked him up from school, the teacher is always telling me something wrong with him as far as his learning, learning ability. Um, oh, I've had to move him. Oh, he can't focus. Um, oh, he, he can't get through his worksheet. So she, today she tells me, and in my, and mind you, she also told me that he couldn't write his name and that it took him 15 minutes to write like the first three letters. And I was like, are you serious? So I'm taking her, you know, information and sticking it in and I'm coming home and you guys have seen me. I have material at home and we go through and he's cool at home. He can get through it. So when I got in today, when I dropped him off. She pulls me to the side and she's like, yesterday it took him an hour to get through the worksheet. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, wow. She's like, you know, he missed all the activities. He didn't get to go outside. I'm like, wow. Okay. I said, well, I've been working with him at home. Um, I said, but you know, like this morning, it took me 15 minutes to get him to say a side word because he just, wasn't getting it right now they're doing sight words which is really coming at this age and it's just not sinking in you guys so i was really really upset about it i cried on the way home i called my best friend crying who called, called me down because i'm like oh i'm gonna have to hold my baby back for kindergarten or something and she's like vivian take what the teacher says with a grain of salt some children just learn differently as i know this and i i've mentioned this before some children just learn differently it doesn't mean that he's behind it doesn't mean he has a learning he, she said jb's very smart it doesn't mean that he has a learning disability it's just that he learns differently he may learn differently from other children so spoke to my husband about it he's like jb's smart he's just it's hard for him to focus so <sighs> What I think I made the mistake of doing, and I can own up to it, I immediately, when she when she initially told me that he had a hard time getting through his worksheets, um, I immediately printed out tons of worksheets, and I've showed you guys what this looked like, what they look like, and I have him to sit down, and I sit with him, and we go through the worksheets. But the problem is, is that JB is not learning that way, because he's he's just not. So, I, I, I fell back. And I'm like, okay, how can he learn? He learns more hands-on like most kids do. He learns through play. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm looking into different ways to help him to learn at least his sight words. So that way by the time he gets to school, he could feel comfortable enough to actually sit down and focus on the worksheet. But I had no idea that these kids were learning how to read in pre-K. And hopefully reading in kindergarten. I, I had no no clue. And my husband was surprised too. He was like, what? So I don't, that's one of the things I don't like about our education system here. Um, the good thing about the school that he is going to is that say once he gets into second grade and if he's struggling in a certain area, then they will may put him in a first grade, I don't know, like English class. Or on the flip side, if he's more advanced in math and this is, he's like, I've already done this. Then they'll put him in a third grade math class. So that's good to, you know, that makes me feel better. But I'm like, let's just get to, get through kindergarten. Let's get to kindergarten, please. So yeah, they have me a little bit upset, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. He's going to get it. I know he is. He's hey going to So cooking dinner. Um, tonight we're going to be having beef. My husband picked up some beef, some assortment of meat from Whole Foods. So... Um, this is one of the few things he actually does know how to cook. So I asked him how he makes his, how he makes his, how he makes <laughs> beef when he cooks it. Cause it's so good and it's really tender. And um, I'm going to follow his instructions on how to cook it. 
So I think it'll be really good. And I have this ginger garlic stir fry kit that I got on sale at Fry's. It was only $2.99. But those carrots are looking a little raggedy. So I'm going to pick those carrots out. Including in here, excuse me, are Brussels sprouts, kale, and bok chow. There's carrots in there too. And then there's a ginger pouch of seasoning there. You have to excuse that. So I'm going to pick out those carrots because they look nasty. Because I have my own shredded carrots. And I have here some peppers. Yeah. I have some ginger, I'm going to slice up some bell pepper, and I have my own shredded cabbage to add to this, alright? And then I'm going to be making some jasmine rice with that, which shouldn't take no time, okay? My pantry, I think I'm going to make... Oh no, no, no! Oh lord, y'all, I'm in my coma, church! to grab them so we have on here three different sight words now I want you to find this one that says saw s-a-w saw s-a-w okay. saw I want you to find all the ones that say saw s-a-w mm-hmm yes pick that one up now find another one that looks like it. Oh, there it is. There you go, put them together. All right, keep finding them. Keep finding them. There's one more. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick. <laughs> is, is that giving you anxiety? It's giving me. One more, S-A-W, saw, S -S -S -S. There you go, you found all of them. <laughs> So it's Friday, I have some things to catch up on work. I'm, I'm waiting, I, that's the thing about my job, at least the field that I'm in, is a lot of waiting on other people before I can actually complete a project. So right now I'm waiting on additional information so I can complete this project. That I did a little activity with him where I put all the words on some sticky notes, not all of them, I did maybe three or four of his sight words and I made him find the ones that look, look the same. So he did really well with that. We're gonna do it again possibly um Sunday and just I'm gonna think of some other activities or other ways to incorporate sight words into learning yeah he did really good baby so, I was yeah so look y'all why did I find out yesterday that you like my nails anyway that my doctor has had his license suspended girl all that drama and healthcare issues I had last year, not just issues, anxiety and stuff I had last year. Granted, I mostly saw his nurse, the nurse practitioners there. I saw her maybe two or three I times. So much better yeah, for you. Thank you, baby. JB, you're rocking me, honey. It's rocking the camera. So he had his license suspended, and girl, they have posted in the Facebook group. I'm in the Facebook group for my neighborhood, because of course, a lot of people in this area go to him. They posted the affidavit or whatever legal documentation. Let me read some of the stuff to the legal documentation, y'all. So I'm in the Facebook group and someone is petty as hell and they, they loaded up this thing. I don't know, I don't know the correct terminology, but it's a legal documentation with the board of, uh, uh, who is it? Um, Arizona Medical Board, basically, about their findings. So, responded is the holder of license number yada 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 and the respondent is the doctor okay the board initiated case number blah 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 after receiving a complaint regarding respondents care and treatment of a 30 year old female patient allegedly inappropriate prescribing of a controlled substance layman's term the doctor was prescribing some opioids to this patient misusing the script pad girl on June 7th, 2016, patient was first seen by respondent during the visit. Respondent prescribed patient 
Aprizolam, Aprizolam, basically Xanax. Xanax 60 with two refills and no follow up noted in the chart. August 29th, same year, patient was seen as a follow up, responded increased dosage to 90 with three, fee, three re refills. So in other words, she came out of there with 600, over 600 pills basically in a few months. Look, y'all. At first, I was like, "What? Why would he do that?" Then I was like, "Wait a minute. He only gave me a 30-day refill." <laughs> Woo! So I told my husband about it yesterday, and he was like, "You know what?" He's like, "He was kind of odd, you know." I would tell him. He said he would prescribe me whatever I wanted. I would tell him what was wrong, and he prescribed. I said, "Not me." I mean, y'all got all those other pills in there. Um, but that's from the NP, but he was not suggesting no type of drugs for my ass. <laughs> so yeah, gonna go to the gym. This is all about me. <laughs> all about go, me. Show them, go show them your Pac-Man game. Y'all, I could not stop laughing. I said, what? He's obsessed with Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man now. I'm like, how are you playing Pac-Man? He's like, I'm hiding. I'm like, what are you talking? Y'all, he has. I'm hiding. Wait he has. Let me see. Y'all, he has figured out how to keep the Pac-Man in the corner so the ghost can. <laughs> so, so I'm like, Jamie. He's like, yeah, I'm playing, but I'm hiding right now. You, you so silly. Thank you a lot. You want me to help you? Please. Good morning, y'all. It is. Sunday! Oh, my camera and hello. JB has my old camera that's now his camera for his vlogging. I need to load Hi, up some guys. of your videos, baby. It's, yeah, see you. it's raining. It is raining. Go to fries. We're gonna go to fries. Me a donut. We're gonna go to fries. Yeah, We're gonna go to the grocery donut. store. And then we have a birthday party to go to later on today, which I'll do a little mm -hmm. vlog of there. At this point, this video is going to be 25 minutes or so. Um, 25 minutes or 8 minutes. Are you done? 10 minutes. Are you done? I'm, I'm, can, can I record and then you can record? No. I'm full still. Yeah. Yeah. This. The reason the why I have to keep going me. to the store is because these people... Between my husband and JB, they eat everything up in the house. I mean, my husband would get so hungry, he'll start just snacking on JB snacks. I'm like, just yo, yo, big six foot four butt sitting up there eating goldfish. I'm like, no, we, we all got our own snacks. You, <laughs> so, um, uh, what else is going on? Uh, my husband is getting his car fixed Monday. Uh, I made him an appointment for a local collision place. And um, yeah, it's going to be $500 out of pocket for each car. But we're going to do them um, separately. Next week, I'm going to be keeping my neighbor's little boy. Um, he's the same age as JV. And JV and, you know, they're, they're friends and they play around. Um, he's a little boy. If y'all saw him in his birthday um, vlog, he has his hair to the side long. He is so adorable. Okay, I need to really. Hi, JB. So it's legs, <laughs> it mirrors, it's a raptor. So it mirrors the raptor legs and it has things to open the mouth. Oh my god. So it's like Jim Henson, puppeteer. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, we're going to go look at a creature. Okay, dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. I do not get in and all sorts of I love dinosaurs. Okay. Y'all, JB's scared. JB, it's fake. It's a it's a person in it. Alright. She's just like that, okay? She's just like a really, really big So where's the Child, Jamie was like, Jamie's like, I'm out of this. Right there, hit it hard, baby. Oh, 